Hey YouTube, um, got a little new project in for one of my uh, hosts. I'm going to uh, be replacing this drive with one Kingston 480 gig just bought off Amazon. And the reason why just one, because there already is two SSDs in the primary, and this is just for extra storage. And um, this is for the vCenter server. We have uh, 220 gigs of mirror to RAID 1. It's not enough. We need to add one more. So the next one will go into that spot right there. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So there we go. Drive is up online. Now we just got to configure it for the RAID. Uh, let the RAID controller see it. We're going to make it into RAID 0. Um, yeah, that's it. So now we have the since the drive we have installed, I shut down vCenter properly and the other VMs, and now actually we're rebooting the host so we can configure the RAID. And drive still in. And these two are Intel SSDs, and this is a, a Kingston. So here we go. This part should take a minute, but it's not too bad. And our option here, it doesn't exist, it's going to show up in the menu. If you want the RAID controller, perk 6, 6i. Six 6i is internal, 6e is external, 6e is for um, any DAS controllers or uh, SANS and stuff like that that are powered by a... Oh, there we go, control R. So here is our current, see, 128 gig, well actually it's 110, but yeah, the darn thing takes it away. We're going to create a new VD, there she is. To store shredder size. Oh no, that'll take forever. Want fastener size and boom. There we go. Hey, right, close this out. There we go. And now we're going to log into uh, the Goodle vCenter. Okay, so now since we got the drive installed and everything all configured, let's actually add it in vCenter. So if any of you don't know how to add a drive in vCenter, very simple. You go to the host itself, configuration. Oh, I've never seen that. I bet you it's vCenter taking it all, or vRealize. Good grief. Um, oh, yep, there we go. On the culprit. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, it's booting up, so I'm not worried about it. So there we go. So we go to configuration. We go under storage. Go under storage. Oh, not adapter, sorry. Go to add storage. You add disk in one. There you go. Our 446 gigabyte shows up. Add. Now we're going to do... So it's going to be SSD. And this is dash 2. Copy that. Finish. And we'll rename this one to be dash one. Go back in here. Boom. 
reason why it says non SSD Perk 6 controllers cannot pass through solid state drive information. So that is the reason why they are saying non SSD, but in the real world, they are SSDs. So while that's booting up, we can take the motion and migrate it. Change data store. And we're going to change this one. We're making a thin. And boom. See how fast that goes. This is around a uh, maybe 60 gigabyte VHD X VMK file. Looks like it's doing pretty good. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, like, subscribe, share, and uh, see you guys next time.